I'm talking to Bob Wilson, who has volunteered twice at Chitterdye School in Dedborough, Rajasthan. Star. Uh, Bob, thanks very much for being with us today. Tell me, why did you first of all choose to go to Chitterdye? And then why did you choose to go again? Uh, well, the first reason for going was that we wanted to volunteer. Why do we want to volunteer? Um, I was very keen to go back to teaching in the classroom, which I hadn't done for some time. Um, and because I, both well, both Penny and I don't like being tourists. We don't feel we learn as much about a country or enjoy it as much as we would by working and living closer to the people of that country. Uh, then why Rajasthan and why Chittadai? Um, we'd neither been to India, we'd been to, to Nepal and found it interesting and we thought India would be interesting um, and after that you persuaded us I think um, that it would be a good place to go. It was also that it was a, a, a new um, project for people and places so we felt that would be interesting uh, and a bit more challenging. Why did we go back? Because we had such a brilliant time the first time and because we, I think it's fair to say, we left a bit of ourselves there that we needed to go back and find. Uh, the people were so kind to us, the uh, rewards were, were great in terms of the classroom experience. Um, pupils were not, not that easy in that their English was limited and that was fun to work out how to help them to improve their English. Um, but it was it was just good fun, um, came alive there a bit and put a lot of England behind us and just lived in a different world for a time. So what were the biggest challenges you faced? I think the biggest challenge was not realising how difficult the youngsters found it to speak English. They had a very good understanding of English but they didn't really want to speak it, mainly out of shyness. They were um, youngsters from an area that was, uh, what's the right word, people are quite humble and, and quite self-effacing and therefore to have the confidence to speak it. So that was probably the biggest challenge of just finding ways of working around that and helping them to feel more confident in, in English. The second year we were there, the challenges were in the form of a, a wedding, a funeral and a birth because other members of the teaching staff had family preoccupations which were really, really important to them. Uh, and meant that they couldn't spend as much time in school with us um, as they would have wished to. Uh, so we were a little bit more on our own. That was fine, we had the confidence, we'd been there before, um, but it, it was a little disappointing in that we couldn't do some of the things we'd hoped to do in terms of training teachers rather than just teaching classes. So would you recommend Chittadai as a volunteer programme oh. for education volunteers? And why? Have uh, you just said it was, it was challenging in terms of uh, your interaction with the teachers and the difficulty of language with the children. So would you recommend oh. this? And why? Absolutely, I'd recommend. I'd thoroughly recommend it. Uh, why? Because you've got uh, predominantly willing pupils, keen to learn. You've got um, a, a very positive environment in terms of the head teacher's ethos and the approach to learning in the school. Um, certainly, very um, acceptable working conditions. Uh, reasonable access to electricity. Um, you're not going to have a whiteboard, but who cares about that? Um, and and uh, the rewards of seeing young people make progress very rapidly and fantastic opportunities to see a different culture in action. So, very shortly, finally, one piece of advice to future volunteers who may be considering Chittadar. Uh, well, one piece of general advice is it's not better or worse, it's different. Uh, one piece of advice if you're going there... Mm, Drive carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs>